Today's reading is Luke chapter 14, verses 12 to 24, and it's the parable of the great dinner. Confession time. I do have to admit that I may once have placed on the mantelpiece in the living room an invitation to a garden party at Buckingham Palace. But if I did, it was tongue in cheek, because I don't go in for displaying posh invitations, or indeed getting any. Imagine an invitation like that lying on a sleeping bag and a pile of cardboard in an alleyway somewhere in the back streets of town. Come to dinner, my place. Hope you can make it. Imagine seeking out all the places where people sleep rough and leaving an invitation there. I wonder if anybody has literally ever done that. I suppose Mother Teresa did it in a way and more as she went round the streets of Calcutta collecting up the dying and taking them into the care of her sisters. When the time comes that we can resume our plans for the cafe at St John's, the cafe for the homeless, we'll be able to do something rather similar, go round and give out invitations to those on the streets in Cardiff. Tea and toast at St John's Church. Hope you can make it. Of course, Jesus wasn't really talking about dinner invitations in the parable, but about God's whole invitation to the human race and to each member of it to share in the blessings of his presence. And he was contrasting those who would respond and those who don't. Those who were sniffy or suspicious or indifferent or lazy with those who would react in a more appropriate way to an invitation from the Almighty. Fancy saying, oh, I'm a bit pushed just now, maybe another day. What cheek, how rude. On a quiet day once, we were all given a copy of a letter. It was headed with our own name, so you should hear your name at the top. This is how it goes. Dear you, I invite you to spend the rest of your life with me, to live alongside me, to join me in my work and share my life. I'm working to win over the whole world, to overcome evil with good, to turn aside hatred with love, to replace injustice with justice, to conquer all the forces of death. Will you join me? I cannot pretend that the path will always be easy. I am often misunderstood and those who follow me are often misunderstood too. Sometimes this brings persecution or even death. I stand alongside those who are poor, oppressed, in every kind of need. I stand against oppression and hypocrisy. This is not always comfortable. If you do choose to join me, you need to be willing to share my way of life in struggle and suffering. But I can tell you that you would know what it is to be loved and what it is to love others that your life would have meaning and you would also share with me in glory. There is no need to reply straight away. Think it over and let me know. But don't leave it too long. There is such a lot to be done. With my dearest love, Jesus.